Assalamualaikum, it's Jenergy. Welcome back to my channel for another classic or favorite Trini style dish. This time we are going to be making some Jira chicken. But we're going to be using some chicken wings, so it's going to be Jira chicken wings. So Jira chicken is like a favorite type of cutters that we have here in Trinidad. It's one of those nice munchy sort of snacks you go, you have, you know, when you have a family lime or friends lime or something, you know, Jira chicken is probably one of those things most times a lot of people enjoy having. It's delicious. Many times though you find them using chicken neck or, you know, some people would use the boneless chicken. But in today's video, I am going to be using the wings because I have a lot of wings in my freezer right now. So I decided why not make some Jira chicken wings. So let's get started. The ingredients for Jira chicken is pretty much straightforward. So whatever part of the chicken you want to use, you know, you want to use the neck, you can go right ahead or boneless or whatever piece. I'm using the wings today. So I've got my wings there. Green seasoning, going to be using pimento, hot pepper, onion, some roasted Jira and some hot hot curry just a little bit is going to go in there as well so i'm going to be starting off basically by chopping up my onions my hot pepper and my pimento now for this particular dish i don't really want to get the chunks of the onions in it so much so i'm going to be chopping it up into little cubes or small pieces the pepper and the pimento though i don't mind the chunks in that because i have no problem at all biting into little pieces of pepper but of course if you are not a pepper fan and if you don't really want the spicy dish eliminate the pepper or you can just adjust it use less of it according to your your preference of course so once i have it all chopped up i'm going to just be setting that aside and let's work on the wings so for the wings because usually you know jira chicken ideally should be small bits and pieces i'm going to be chopping my wings into pieces so there's normally like a three part to the wing if you want to look at it like that there's the drumming part of it and then there's the wing i'm actually going to be cutting it into three pieces so each wing we're going to get into three pieces only because to me i really want big chunks of meat in your jira chicken i think it's smaller the better so i know a lot of you don't really like to see fat in your meat i actually have no problem with a little bit of the fat on it but just in case you're one of those who act don't like any fat on it at all or any skin on your meat you can use the scissors and cut off the pieces of the fat and the pieces of the skin that you don't want in your pot or in your meat when you're eating it so once that's done you can use some flour to wash it out to get some of that sliminess out of the chicken so once it's nice and properly washed I'm going to be adding some of the chopped up onions the pepper and the pimentos to the chicken I'm going to be saving the rest of it for when I start cooking so now I'm just going to add some of it. I'm going to add in my green seasoning, my salt, my black pepper, my curry powder, and my roasted jira. So the curry powder is just to add a little extra flavor to it. So some people actually don't add any curry powder at all to it, but you know, it's all up to you. So you want to mix this up nicely. And this guys, to me, I think you should let it marinate for as long as possible. I prefer having marinated um, meats when I'm cooking, but if you don't have the time, you can actually just cook it immediately. I'm just going to let it marinate for as long as possible, a couple of hours. So by the way, when I have when I have the seasoning and everything mixed up like this point, the entire kitchen just has my mouth watering every time because it smells so, so good. So just in case some of you guys are not familiar with the green seasoning, the green seasoning you would see me using in a lot of my videos is basically a combination of various herbs especially or the main herb being culantro or shadow benny is what we call it in Trinidad so it's a combination of sides and people with celery with the culantro, the shadow benny, garlic, hot pepper, pimento each person has their own way of making their green seasoning but we use green seasoning in almost every single thing that we are cooking in Trinidad especially our curries and our stews so when you're ready to cook your wings now, you're going to be adding some oil to your pot. You can use vegetable oil or canola oil. And then when the oil is hot, you're going to keep your heat low medium. You're going to be adding in your chopped up onions, your pepper and your pimento. So for me at this step, I love to add 
a lot of the hot pepper because like I said for me Jiri chicken should ideally be spicy so I'm going to add that pepper and cook it up let it fry up in that oil and it's going to add too much more flavors and spice and heat to your dish so you're going to cook up your onions and stuff until it's nice and tender just about a minute or two minutes or so don't let it burn and then we're just going to be adding the seasoned chicken to the pot so you're going to stir that up a little bit and at this point I'm going to be increasing the heat and I'm not going to let I'm not going to cover the pot I'm just going to let the chicken cook for about five to ten minutes or so chicken will spring its own water so you want that chicken to spring the water and you want that water and that natural juices to just evaporate from the pot when you see most of that liquid gone is gone from the pot I'm going to be adding more water to it now because the meat is small the pieces are small it will not take too long to cook I'm just going to let it cook down until that sauce thickens up and most of that water is gone so the chicken should take about 20-25 minutes to cook or so. I'm not covering the pot at any point in the cooking process. I'm just going to let that cook on its own uncovered. And when it's almost finished, I'm going to taste it for salt, black pepper. I'm going to add just a little more green seasoning and hot pepper. And I'm also going to be adding in some of the roasted jira. So you're going to sprinkle, now, sprinkle that on, on your chicken. The amount that you use will depend on how much jira you really want to be tasted. But to me, the more the better. I'm going to stir this up and just let it cook for two to three minutes on high heat. And that would be it for our jira chicken wings. So I can't even explain the smell, the aroma is my taste bud spring and water right now. Just talking about it, just looking at it. It's just my mouth is watering just even talking to you guys about it. For some reason, I'm feeling teated with dal and rice. As always, your poor guys could be saying, Jenna, you love your dal and rice. I really do. I absolutely love my dal and rice. So I'm just thinking dal and rice with some of this jira chicken and a little bit of kuchu and hot pepper and I'm good to go there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a jira chicken neck video up. Would be slightly different in the way I went about cooking it. So I'll post a link for that down below. You guys can check that out. You know, it's amazing to me, like I said in my previous video, how over time things change, your favorite ingredients in cooking change, you hear, you know, different styles of cooking change. It's all good and well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with all your friends and your family. And just in case you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button as well. The bell notification button, that just ensures that every time I post a video, you get a notification so you guys can check out the video and of course share with all your friends and your family. If you guys have any questions related to this particular video or any of my videos, feel free to comment down below. You can also send me an email or reach out to me on my Instagram and also on my Facebook page. I try my best to reply to messages, but sometimes I may fall short, I may fall behind, may have some delays but I do apologize I will of course reply to everybody eventually so thank you so much for watching guys I am going to be digging into this geo chicken right now I can't talk too much without my mouth watering from smelling it so I will see you guys in my next video